what you're ready for this man I'm Digibomb and this is the Big Vapors Juice Review. And in this review, we're going to talk about sweet e-juice. But these aren't the kinds of sweet e-juices that are going to rot your teeth. This is just the right amount of sweetness that makes a great vape after a morning coffee or an evening dessert after dinner. So today, I'm going to take you through a few new juices I got from a cool Canadian supplier called Gentleman's Reserve. I'll stick all the links in the description so you can find out more about these awesome e-juices and purchase some for yourself. All right, so the first e-juice we're going to talk about is Banana Foster. This stuff is the bomb, okay? This is a 30 mil bottle, 16 milligrams, Banana Foster. This stuff tastes like a fried banana with ice cream. It is absolutely amazing, and it's not just the taste. When I first got this juice, I had to pop the cap and give it a good whiff. Oh my God, it smells like fresh sweet bananas. You know when you take bananas and you flambe them with some nice liqueur and you get that flame going and then you just put on some cold ice cream that melts all over that banana and you cut into it and you eat it and you're just like, oh heaven. That's what this juice is like. I'm telling you, dead on. This is dead on. When I took the first, I mean when I smelled the juice, I was like, it better vape as good as it smells. And I got to tell you, I was not disappointed. So I'm vaping on my Omega. So this is a silver vein Omega with a low resistant Cardo and my Durlin drip tip. So this is a freshly charged battery. I'm just going to take a toot off here and show you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Lots of vapor. A nice amount of throat hit, but it's not like a kick you in the back of the head kind of throat hit. And it's not too, too sweet. Like, it doesn't make you want to go, oh, that's just too much sugar and it's like heavy. It's not like after you've eaten too much birthday cake at a party. It's just the right amount. And that aftertaste, it's smooth, it's creamy, it's got that banana, and there's a bit of a fragrance in the air. It's funny. I don't know about you guys, but I don't usually smell vape in the air very often, maybe because I've been doing it for a while, so I don't smell it anymore, but I definitely taste it. But people around me who are there when I'm vaping are like, I can smell the sweetness. And actually today at work, I was doing some of the Banana Foster, and this guy was like, is that banana? And I was like, yeah, Banana Foster. So this is really an awesome vape, and I just love it. So if you get the opportunity... Again, Banana Foster, okay, it's banana fos Bananas Foster, sorry, from Gentleman's Reserve. This stuff is awesome. Great Canadian e-juice supplier. Okay, so the next one. I picked up about seven juices, but I'm only going to cover three today. So the next one here is one of my favorites, Boston Cream Pie. Now, I'm a Boston Cream Pie fanatic. I absolutely adore Boston Cream Pie. I even had to go all the way down to Boston just to try some real Boston Cream Pie. So I know the taste very well, okay? Now, Boston Cream Pie can be very heavy and very sweet. But again, this is not over the top. It's a little sweeter than the Bananas Foster, but it's not, again, it's not that over the top heavy feeling. So I've got my, uh, ban I'm sorry, I've got the Boston Cream Pie here on a uh, regular 510 Addy on an 1100 Ma Ego with a standard tank. So we're going to take a toot off this. Mm. Mm-hmm. Holy cow, this lets off a ton of vapor. It really does. And it's absolutely, it's amazing. Like it tastes like I'm eating a piece of Boston Green Bye, except it's not sitting heavy. What I like about this is that you can have that sinfully delicious dessert in the evening and not feel guilty for all you out there who are watching weight or counting calories. And I don't, you know, all you guys out there who say you don't, I know you do. Don't feel guilty about it. It's like a dessert without having a dessert. It's absolutely refreshing. It is an amazing treat in the evening. Not so much in the morning. I think it's a bit too much for a morning vape or an early afternoon, but it's a great evening vape. Again, it's smooth. It's a little sweeter than the Banana Foster. It's got the right amount of throat kick. I mean, it's not like a, a heavy 24 milligram tobacco flavor, but it's got just the right amount, and you can, you can taste the little bit 
uh, you know, you, you taste the cream, right? You taste the chocolate. You know, it's all in there, the subtleties of the Boston cream pie. I don't know how they managed to put Boston cream pie in an e-juice, but they did. So for those of you who like that, then you definitely want to check this out. Okay, so the last sweet e-juice, I'm going to vape it also on the same Ego 1100 Ma with my, with my 510 Addy and a 510 Tank. This is rainbow sherbet wasn't really sure what to make of it the description talked about a summery you know sweet sherberty kind of taste to it um i'll stick it in here i'll tell you all about it in a second we'll take a toot off of it so that you can see mm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. holy cow it is really good it's not so much sweet as it, it's a bit tangy. It's got a bit of sweet, it's got a bit of tangy, kind of like what you expect a sherbet to be like. And it's it's got this fresh kind of feeling. It's a very calming, soothing, relaxing vape. And again, not over the top. It is definitely the least sweet of the three because it has that tanginess, but I still put it into the sweet category because it has those sweet undertones. But it tastes like that rainbow sherbet that you would buy. You know, you go to the grocery store or in the summer when you're in the park and the guy comes by with the with the ice cream carts and you get the sherbet. I don't know if they actually have sherbet, but it tastes like those rainbow sherbets or like those rainbow popsicles that you get, right? It's just a really I'm gonna take another one here. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right there. You feel it right as you're inhaling. You start to taste it right in your back of your throat. You're like, mmm, that's sherberty. And actually, this one, I can smell a bit. Maybe because the taste is so strong, but not strong in a bad way, but it's so refreshing and I can really taste it that it's like a psychological thing and I can smell it in the air. So again, this one is awesome, Rainbow Sherbert. This one's also 16 milligrams of nicotine. So basically, I got all of them in 16 milligrams. And uh, they're all a 70-30 mix, but these are really spot on. So Gentleman's Reserve, Canadian e-juice supplier. These guys are awesome. Good customer service. Talked with them a bit over email. Um, no, I was not given the juices. Uh, full disclaimer, I made this review because I wanted to make the review, and I really love these juices, and I went out and uh, I purchased it on my own will, and I tried and I decided to make this review. So that is the Big Vapors e-juice review. Check out the next review. It's going to be coming up shortly. Um, you can follow me at Digibomb on Twitter. Check out the website, bigvapors.wordpress.com. And you know what? Just keep on vaping. And I'm going to leave you with just a little bit of this rainbow sherbet because it's just so good. All right, guys. All right, y'all ready for on, this one? On. What a da -da, what a da -da, what a da -da.